I, I think I, I think it's a red belly black. You can see him sticking down under there. Fatty, that's for sure. Yeah, it's huge. Oh. Oh. He's just going in. Oh. <laughs> it's in the toilet. It's in here somewhere. Oh, dude. You know, I heard it slap off the truck. It's going left there. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Was... Hey, buddy. Come on. Wait, are you going to be friendly? Come on. <laughs> Just where I've got the hook, he can't really, but yeah, right. red bellies are they're not really interested in getting you. Like, right. He's yeah. not opened his mouth at me once. Right. We, they, we never have a problem with Nah, him. Like, he's not opened his mouth. He's trying to be tough, but his mouth's completely shut. You know? Right. That's right. just them trying to act big and tough. Wow. <laughs> Are you local, Rob? Uh, Josh. So that red belly you just saw, he hitched a ride on the back of that truck. So the depot is not too far away, it's maybe half an hour away, right near a perfect release spot. But he's got a lot of flaking shed. I've just dropped him off home. I'll give him a bath, help him get that shed off. He's had some traumatic events, so we'll give him a rest overnight. And then your door's open. And then first thing tomorrow morning, we'll take him out to that spot and release him. I've just had another call nearby as well. Sounds like an escaped pet python. So we're gonna go suss that out now and I'll see you over there. There you go, big fatty. I've had him at, um, I've had another one before. It was just a baby. Oh, come on, buddy. You friendly boy? God, you're huge. Yeah, they only get that big when they're very well Jesus. fed. Jesus. He seems somewhat friendly. Yeah. He's heavy. You want to hold him? No. Can I? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you go? Little fella. It's freaking tiny. How the hell did you see it? How good is that? We're on an absolute roll today. That is three catches for three calls. I didn't think we were gonna catch that little red belly because he was in he was in a school and he was in such a thick sort of bush, but I don't know, we got him. And we're out here, just come to a beautiful little creek system right nearby to where he's from. Gonna get him out of the bag, gonna release him, go home. Hopefully there's no more calls for the day. Then we can sort out our diamond and get our red belly ready for release tomorrow. All right, let's get him out. <laughs> One, but he's just so slender. Where is he? There he is. Go down to the creek. Go down to the creek. Turn around. Off you go. Go on. Oh, he's swimming. He's just gone straight down and dived underneath the water. What a sight! How good is that? Oh my god! I can't believe I just got that on video for you. I've seen red bellies swimming, but never one I've released. That is so sick. I can't see where he's climbed out, but he'll find somewhere to climb out. I'm glad he did that because there's more bushland on the other side. Behind me, there's houses and whatnot. Over there, there's just quite a lot of bush. That's going to be beautiful habitat. How good is that? Just boom, straight in. He dived under the water. I don't know if I filmed it or not. Hopefully I did, but that's some awesome footage for you guys. Oh, that gets me hyped. All right, let's get it home and sort out these other guys. I'll see you later.
back home. I got our big red belly. I'm gonna give him a quick bath in this water just to help him with that, all that loose shed that's stuck on him. He had a lot on him, so that'll just help to loosen up. He can get it off, and then he gets to go home. Let's get him in there, eh? Hopefully he's relatively chill when I get him out. Oh, you big fella. There he is. Looks like a bit of the shed's come off in the bag, which has helped him out. I wonder, has he still got eye caps on? Has he got eye caps? It looks like the eyes have already come off, so he can see what he's doing. You get in there. You have a bath. That's the thanks I get. Disgusting. Ugh. While he's in the bag, you can see some more of his sheds coming off. Just while he's wiggling around. Once we release him this afternoon, the exact same thing's gonna happen. Once he's traversing through the bush, the rocks, the grass, the water, all the rest of that shed will fall off. He's lost a lot of it. He's having a swim, cleaning himself up. There's his head there. He's enjoying that. Because he was on the back of that truck, in between pallets, wanted to get him real clean, make sure that there were no injuries from being on the back of the truck or moved by a forklift or being strapped down, anything like that. It looks completely fine. Such a big snake. It's not often you see red bellies this size. Absolutely stunning. There he is. You can see that shed starting to come off already just with the water. You can see the shed coming off already with the water. You just saw how easily I just pulled that off. That's really going to help him out once we get, once we release him this afternoon. And oh, there's my thanks. A big poop on me. But you can see where he shedded that vivid red and black, and they're just stunning. So I'm getting shadow over, so I'm putting him in the bag. You go in the bag, please. Off you go. There's my thank you. They can never ever appreciate what you do for them. giant red belly he's had his bath we've brought him back out here he is absolutely rare and to go home we've brought him back to the original place he came from where he was loaded onto the truck brought him further into this bush this beautiful bushland got a creek running along there he can head down there get his frogs and he's gonna absolutely be smashing those frogs at that size he's got some more of that shed off too let's we'll see if he's gonna be bull out of the gate or if he wants to hang out with us i don't reckon he wants to hang around but How good's that? He's gone, he's free, he's healthy. Work out where and what he wants to do. Thanks for hanging around, I'll see you on the next one.